G'day everyone. A couple more days and spring will be here. And it feels like spring, I tell you. This is lovely. I've been waiting what feels like forever. I've come out the Waranga Western Channel because the fish in here tend to fire up a bit quicker than the river as spring starts to roll in. We'll see how that goes. So I've got two worms on a wide gape hook there, not overly big, about as round as my thumb. I'll chuck that somewhere out the middle on a Paternoster rig. Right about there is pretty good. On this rod I'm using a running sinker rig and a much smaller hook. You can see the other one was the size of my thumb, that's about half of my thumb. Now this one is specifically to target carp and I'm going to put three or four corn kernels on that one. There we go. I've got a much lighter sinker on that one as well for the running sinker rig. And you can see that the sinker stops at the swivel and then I've gone to monofilament after that. Braid, braid above the swivel with a small sinker. Monofilament below for about a foot and a half. Four small corn kernels on a tiny hook. So let's see if I can get a bottom feeding carp using that rig. There we go. It's a bit past halfway because I want it to get over where the channel gets wider there. You might remember this spot from a recent video where I caught a nice big cod. Uh, I caught him just over there where I've cast this one today. So I very much doubt that I'll replicate that much success, but you never know. Not sure how the line comes out on camera, but the rod with the Patton Oster rig's got a heavier sinker, so I can pull the line nice and tight and then the bait can hang off the bottom freely and that works as a bit of a buffer between the tightness and where the bait sits. With the running sinker rig I've used a lighter sinker so the fish won't feel the weight and the line has a bit of slack in it, it's just a bit curved as it goes down just to give them that little bit to take the bait and run before they feel the rod pull. I absolutely love this time of year for fishing just as spring's starting because you get the nice warm sun if you're lucky you get minimal wind although it does get quite windy in spring and a few storms but uh, the ants haven't really kicked in yet and more importantly the flies in summer the flies are shocking in spots like this but at this time of year they're few and far between and that's all right by me <laughs> i've been here about an hour haven't even had a nibble, but I've seen plenty of signs of fish. Just hoping they start biting soon. It's the perfect day, there's no excuse for them. They should be hungry. I missed him. First bite I've had the whole time I've been here and I missed him. I'll get it back out in the same spot if I can. I reckon that was a little red fin on the worms there. Didn't bite that hard. That was a good bite. hit it properly. Had two good goes at it. Oh, keep missing. Damn it. Wily little buggers today. No corn left. Alright. Alright, the worms are getting attention on the other rod, so I've switched over the corn to worms on this rod as well. See if I can't get bites on both rods, that'd be lovely. Very quiet. Thought they'd be fired up today, but I've only had those few... Well, I had a couple of little ones and one decent bite, but no hookups.
whoa, there's a fish on there. <laughs> he didn't even bite. I was just bringing it up to check the bait and move it. I've got a nice big carp on there. Wow, the timing on that was incredible. <laughs> oh my god. So I've missed bites and then I've caught a fish that didn't bite. <laughs> now my landing net's still out of action, so I've got to get down low and grab him with the lip grips. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, mate, come on. <laughs> so that was caught on a worm on the small hook, the running sinker rig. Can you hold still? <laughs> he knows I want to get him. I'm going to get you. Oh, hold there. Got him. <laughs> Only a little guy for a carp, about 40 centimetres. But I've caught a fish today. I thought I wasn't going to get any after missing a few bites and all that. Bloody ripper. I might give him a measure just because I can. So I'll cut to where I've got him on the mat. Well, he's a little bit bigger than I thought. Line him up with the edge there. I've actually broken it, but uh, there we go. 44 centimetres. Nice little carp. And do you see that rock on the ground there, mate? That's got your name written all over it, sorry. I've got about 20 minutes before I've got to get going. I would love to catch another carp before I left. So bite now. Yeah, it's worth a shot. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm about to pack up. I only got the one carp, but I've had half a dozen other bites and it's a lovely day. I mean, I came fishing, I caught a fish, the weather's good. What more could I ask for? <laughs> if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. And if you want to support my channel, the best way to do so is by subscribing. So consider doing that as well. Thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you in the next one.